so I was lucky enough to come happen upon this book um, two years ago. It's called One Thing, and it's yeah, basically the book talks about how if you specialize in one thing and you become really good at it, uh, it'll have a domino effect. Uh, one would lead to another that would lead to even something bigger. So, and, 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 yeah, and I guess that's, that's what I've tried to... to yeah, it's, it's, it's something one needs to... Because it's not easy, I've also struggled with the same thing. Because you, you try something, it doesn't work out as you had hoped. And then you naturally lose interest. That's that's our normal life. I also face it every day. But then I think one needs to have that patience to let something thrive. Uh, you need to be patient to go through those disappointments. And yeah, and you really take time to master one thing. No matter how small that thing is, no matter how underappreciated or under some that space is, uh, you will. Once you become really good at that one thing, um, it will lead to more and more things in that in that way. So when you spread yourself too thin, you do not get the chance to really master one thing. And which is why I tell guys, young guys who are going to consulting, um, that you need to build up that scar tissue doing one thing and failing and trying again and failing, because that's the only way you become. Rather than trying different projects, yes, you may learn different things, but then, um, yeah, um, like of, of all the, yeah, you know, many founders want to hold on to uh, what they do, but then one needs to be open enough for someone else to take on what what you started and make it better. Because I think that's the only way it can, because you can only go so far, your own vision can only stretch so far. Um, yes, so I, I do not plan to be here forever. I think that's the time will come and I'll have to let it go. So yes, we do have an exit strategy, um, whether buyout, whether um, uh, keep the company as is and let other people take over. Yeah, but then I do not plan to stay for a while because if I do, might be retrogressive to the progress my team members will be trying to achieve. Whether you're passionate about it or not, I think one can become passionate about what they want. I, I, I don't think we are born with a certain passion. I think we build them. We choose to become passionate about certain things. And yeah, so I, I think because, because I agree, I think we, 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 it, it's a mistake everyone makes um, waiting for that um, burst of energy to, to do something. But then I, I, I don't think that burst of energy would come naturally. I, I can't think of times when, because I, I struggle to get out of it. I do not just naturally um, make certain things happen. I think it's by pushing myself to do things that I even sometimes don't care about. Um, so yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to come from passion. Although I am passionate about tech, um, um, retail, but then I think one can develop passion by uh, doing one thing repetitively over a certain period of time. Um, yeah, let, let, let me be really honest with you. My, with my first venture, I wasn't really passionate about paper bugs. Uh, it actually came from necessity. I could not, I, I, I'd like to claim like uh, every other uh, business person that they're passionate about what, 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 what they did. And um, yeah, so mine wasn't really about passion. Mine, came from, I, I needed to eat, I needed to uh, yeah. find a job, I needed to sustain my living at some point. So I just, it, it needed to work. Um, so, but then what I was doing is working very hard to uh, one day afford myself the opportunity to do what I'm really passionate about. Because what I, what I might be passionate about, it, it may be something 
something associated with like, like I just want to take walks or yeah. yeah. So sometimes maybe your passion would not necessarily generate income. Uh, we try to force uh, what things that are passionate to make money when sometimes they may not. So I think one needs to um, work hard to find afford themselves the opportunity to so sometimes it might mean doing things that I'm not really passionate about. Um, so, for instance, my background has all led to tech. Um, initially, I didn't have the opportunity, I didn't have the skill sets, I didn't have the resources to um, get into tech. Um, so it, it meant I had to work long hours over things that I didn't really care about to, to get at this point. Um, yeah, so in as much so I, I don't really think having a passion is pointless um, I think one needs to have that opportunity to do things they, they really like but then what one needs to accept is that that may not be necessarily what feeds them you may spend years and years pushing something and it may not mature into because um, making money is, is another different skill uh, you might be really good at this but then you don't know how to monetize it.